Mark, uh, Skip mentioned in the teleconference yesterday that, that he felt like you guys had to do some things defensively that you haven't been able to do so far. I just want to ask you how much you guys have stepped back and, and retooled things a little bit, given the bye week and a little bit of time to, to step back and revisit things. Well, we've, we've just tried to get better at what we're doing. You know, that's, that's the key. Um, you know, what we're doing, we have to do a little bit better, and that's what this bye week has been about. And, and um, you know, we're working on the things that we're doing and trying to get better at them. Can you expand what those things are? Well, without giving away the game plan, it's kind of a hard, <laughs> hard question to answer. Uh, you know, to getting back to base fundamentals and doing some of the things that we've done well. And, uh, um, you know, we're starting to run a little thin at some positions here and there, and, and we've got to do what these guys can do. Mark, in terms of the, the challenges that Rutgers provide, it seems like uh, you talked a lot about, about how Caleros gave you more trouble because he had the, the threat to run. Yeah. And it seems like Nova's more in the... Uh, UConn quarterback, more like McEntee. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you what that allows you to do more of defensively. Well, I mean, you know, Greg's a good coach. He's a smart coach. He'll have him running a little bit more than he's had him running. I promise you that. He's not going to sit back there and, and he's got to have that element of the run in what they do. Um, so we'll see how the game goes and, and kind of play it you know, as the game goes. Mark, what's your impression of Sanu? I know you guys have gone up against some pretty good receivers here through the course of the He's season. pretty good. He's big. They got big body receivers now. Their receivers are big. 6'3", 6'4", 6'6", 210, 220. They're, they're the bigger type. Uh, he's a really good player. Seems like he's been around forever. And uh, you know the guy's got 70 catches. That's amazing to me. The differential between the rest of their team and the number of catches he has. So obviously he's their production. And uh, you know a little bit like Pete last week. Uh, we got to know where he's at. Um, you know, like DJ Woods last week, we got to know where he's at. Um, our kids got to know where Snoo is every time we're on the field. When you guys went against Floyd had the size that you guys were impressed by at the start of the year. I mean, that, you had talked about how Jenkins was a guy to help match up against him. Will yeah. you see a lot of him again? Um, yeah, Expect we'll, to at yeah, least. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how the game plays out. And, and right. Is there anything uh, you want to try to check the most? Can we face Rutgers this week? What's that now? Is there anything you're, that's concerned you the most? Well, the running game. We got to stop the running game. That's where it all starts. Just like last week. Um, you know, we felt like coming in the game, we had to stop Pete because if you don't, you don't get a steady dose of the same thing here. They're going to run the football, you know. He's hired the guy from Pitts. Again, he's a great football coach. Uh, they look like Penn State, you know. When you watch Penn State on film and you watch Rutgers now on film, you know, it's the same offense. And you're going to have to stop their run game. And, you know, if they can run the ball effectively, play action becomes a problem for you.